This is Grace with Graceful Living. Today we have a special guest who's going to share his recipe for mashed ulu with us. Hi, I'm Gregory, and today we're going to make a garlic ulu breadfruit mashed with herbs. For the mashed ulu, you will need one or two large ulu, mushrooms, rice or almond milk, green onions or chives, rosemary, and oregano. We start by washing our contents. And we slice our ulu. And slice it in four. And then remove the stems. And then slice it into slightly smaller pieces. So we can boil it in a pot. We use a total of two ulu for the recipe. Greg is now adding water so we can boil our ulu to make it soft. Now we're cutting our shallots. And we also are roasting garlic with the shallot. I like 15 the most. Okay. It cooks fast. The bottom ones are done. Um, so I'm gonna just kind of turn them. Yeah. This is oregano. oregano. And this one? That's oregano too? I think that's oregano too. Cut some mushrooms into smaller pieces. We place them in a pan to cook them with water. Then Greg proceeds to cut the herbs into smaller pieces. Then we add them to the pan to cook with the mushrooms. When done, mushrooms are slightly browned. That it is uh, pliable and uh -huh. easy to cut, but not so much cooking that it's breaking down the fiber. Because look at the, and the color, so that yes, the color yes. doesn't change. So the uh -huh. color is still the nice uh, original yellow color. Okay. And the overcooking and it kind of goes brown or yeah. beige, you know? Uh -huh. So I like it like this. Yeah. And then the water that's in it, we'll use every bit of it. We'll mash it in. Okay. So we didn't waste anything in the way of nutrients and leach and I'll start like this. Break oh, and I like it chunky. Yeah. I don't so I don't blend it, uh -huh. puree it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to have a little of the consistency of the vegetable. Greg continues to mash the ulu so it looks like this. Then he adds the mushrooms and mixes them in. Now it's time for the onions which are done. The consistency of the mixture is very thick, so Greg uses rice milk or almond milk to thin the mixture so it's more creamy. The garlic is ready now, so he chops it into small pieces and mixes it in. Mashed ulu with herbs, uh -huh. mm, with roasted garlic, mm. roasted shallots, with yum yum yum, it's delicious. <laughs> so much flavor. It's delicious. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you, Greg, for sharing your mashed ulu recipe. Please go to graceandhawaii.com for recipe and more information.